Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Kevin Jones. I'm your professor for Communication 101. Today, I'm going to do a short introduction speech. What I'm gonna do is tell you a little bit about myself and also gonna tell you a little bit about the class. I've been teaching for 27 years and I've taught communication for about 27 years. This particular class is my favorite class to teach, Communication 101, where we learn how to deliver effective speeches. You may be already proficient in your delivery of speeches, but I want to make sure that we hone your skills and make sure that you are delivering speeches to the absolute best of your ability. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. Currently, I'm a professor of management at Indiana University Purdue University in Columbus, Indiana. And there I teach classes in management and classes such as organizational behavior, human resources, leadership. But I've been teaching at Ivy Tech since 2006. And in that time, I've had the opportunity to meet fine people like yourselves. Before that, I had 10 years in healthcare, 10 years in telecommunications, and also a tenure in consulting. So I've had a long career, lots of experiences, and had the opportunity to speak in a variety of places, including Jamaica, the Bahamas, Russia, and Estonia, and one more, the Netherlands, in addition to many places in the United States. Most recently, had a speaking engagement in San Antonio, Texas, and coming up in June, I'll be speaking in South Africa. That's right, Durban, South Africa. So obviously I've had a lot of opportunities to speak. And now as I tell you a little bit about speaking in this class, I want to tell you the first thing to understand is that public speaking is not something you come out of the womb with the skill for. You develop it, you work on it, you build the capability through practice, through experience, and also encouragement. This class will provide you with lots of practice, lots of encouragement, and also some instruction. We'll try to give you some pointers on what to do well. Now, understand this. In every class, you will speak. You will speak from the day you walk in today to the last class where you will speak we can get as much practice as possible in the eight weeks we're together. Now, clearly this is a class with high expectations. We expect you to get better. You will get better. This is something I've seen for many, many years. You may be a little uncertain. You may not even like to public speak. You may be fearful of public speaking, but my goal is to show you that it's an enjoyable thing to do. It's something that gives you an opportunity to express your voice, to give your point of view, to educate an audience, to share your thoughts. And you know what? Maybe one day you will need to lead. And if you lead, you surely will have to speak. Public speaking also is something that's essential when you are seeking a job. It's essential if you are in management. It is essential for you to be able to express what is in your mind, in your heart, and maybe sometimes even in your soul. So we will practice. We will deliver speeches. We will hone your skills. We will make sure that when you walk out of here, you'll be better than you started. I will say that based upon much experience that it's a rich opportunity for you to develop a usable skill for yourself and for your career. Now, a few things to expect. First thing is, this is a class of encouragement. So when you are in this class, come with the attitude of encouraging others. We'll give feedback to each other, but we'll only give positive feedback. That's from you. I may give a little corrective feedback from time to time. But for you, your role is to give only 
positive feedback. This is important. Because I've learned over the years that people develop much better when they are encouraged as opposed to discouraged. We receive so many negative messages over the years about public speaking. This is an eight week period where you're gonna receive lots of good positive feedback. The other thing, some expectations. We start on time and end on time. So we expect you to get here and stay the whole time. It's really appropriate for you to stay and hear others. Don't leave after you speak. That's not fair. Everybody deserves an audience. You stay, hear what other people have to say, just like they will stay and hear what you have to say. If you must be late, make sure you call ahead. If you must be absent, make sure you call ahead. But with an eight week class, it's very difficult to miss more than one class. If you miss two classes, it surely will affect your grade. If you miss three classes, you may be receiving an adverse grade. So plan to attend all eight weeks, if at all possible. Also, we are very cordial to each other. When people are speaking, no one should exit or enter. When a person is here, except for me, you can come and go when I'm speaking anytime you like. But when one of your classmates is speaking, make sure that you stay where you are until they complete their speech. I'll tell you more about that later, why that's very important. With regard to presentations, you also want to make sure that you're appropriately dressed. Now understand that we're not requiring you to quote unquote dress professionally except for two speeches. When you are doing your informative speech and your persuasive speech, you are expected to dress as if you are interviewing for a job. And we're not just talking about any job, we're talking about interviewing for a job that pays significant amounts of money for you. This may not be the job that you have now. It may not be the job you're going to get next. It may be the job that you get three or four years from now, but it's the job that you do not want your appearance to be a distraction for the interviewers. We'll also talk more about that. So for two speeches, you'll need to dress up. Otherwise, you can pretty much wear what you want, but again, wear what's appropriate for your message. Don't let what you wear detract from your message. Now, one other thing I wanna say, and I'll use the demonstration for you on this one, cell phones. Now, cell phones are very helpful and very useful and we have them and we sometimes use them at all times. When people are speaking, it's not the right thing to do to be texting or to be looking at messages. When people are speaking, and that includes me, we expect you to have your phone either off or away so that you're not tempted to pay attention to it. Now, I know some people say, well, what if I have an emergency? Well, when I'm speaking, you can check it from time to time. But when others are speaking, your classmates, there are no cell phones out, there are no talking on cell phones. Obviously, when people are speaking, make sure you have your ringer off or at least on vibrate. But if you have a vibrate that's really loud, please turn your phone off. Other things that we expect, and it's a, not too much to expect in my opinion, it is that you come prepared to speak. Since this is a public speaking class, be ready to speak. Be thinking what I'm going to talk about. Be ready to share something with the audience, which means do the readings. Possibly look at some of the videotapes that you see in Blackboard. So when you come up here, you have the stage. You are in charge. So. With that in mind, I'm gonna close this with a short video to show you. And in that video, you will see an example 
of a bad public speech and you'll see an example of a good public speech. In closing, this is going to be a great class because you're in it. And because you're in it, I will learn something new, you will learn something new, everyone in this class will learn something new because of you being in this class. I look forward to it. So let's take a look at the videos. Hello, my name is Dr. Kevin Jones. My topic today is your success. Success starts with a belief that you will be successful. Every person who is successful has a belief that they can be and are successful. It starts with confidence. Confidence in the outcome. Confidence that what you do will be good. You have to start with that confidence in everything you do. Now, you may receive a setback, but you learn from that setback. You may find something didn't go quite right, but you make adjustments. But you always have to have that belief in yourself and know that you can be successful. So whether it's public speaking, or whether it's doing a job, or whether it's a relationship, have in mind the confidence that the outcome will be successful. So let me give you one bit of advice. Start today affirming yourself, saying that you can be successful. Nothing that has happened in the past or that will happen in the future can stop your success. Remember, success is not defined by someone else. It really isn't. Success is defined by you. And therefore, you can be and will be successful. Thank you. Yeah, well, oh yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm like supposed to speak today and you know, um, <laughs> you know, it's like, um, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, my topic is, you know, being yourself. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't be yourself. You know, it don't matter what somebody think. It's just about what you want to be. Uh, yeah, you know, I think that's all I got to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So that's it. See y'all.